Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, welcome back to Outward. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and we are on the north side of the pass now. We are on the north side of the fort, the north, north side of the ghost pass. So we're going to go up this trail, we're going to go across this bridge, and to the right we're going to find the Cabal of Wind Tower. And to the left here is the ancient ruins. So, we're, I've already been to the Cabal of Wind Tower and I've already been through the ancient ruins. So I'm, we're going to wait for these to reset so I can show you how to do that. I have to wait a few days in game for that to happen. And then we'll go through the Cabal of Wind Tower right now. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to head to the Cabal of Wind Tower right now. We're going to go check it out. I'm going to go ahead and put this away. All right, we're going to go in the dark, guys. Because there's going to be a monster over here I don't want to tangle with. I don't know exactly. I haven't had the pleasure of fighting one. But I don't feel like I'm feeling it right now. I want to get you guys to the Cabal. And so we're just going to go along this path right here. He's to my right. He's to my right. And so we're going to, going to kind of just chill out. If, when you go on either side, there he is right there. I don't know if you can see him. But he's right above my head, right against that cliff. It's good for us because we have to cross that bridge. He gets too close to the bridge, he might, we might aggro him, and I don't want to do that. He looks like a... I don't know what he looks like. He looks like a rust monster from Dungeons and Dragons, kind of. I don't know what he does, but... There are a couple of dead ones with, with weapons sticking out of them, and it looks like it takes a lot to kill them, if, if the, uh, the dead ones are any indication. So, yeah, there's one right here. See, uh, it looks like, I guess I can, I can turn this on. So this body, this is his body. This is one of their bodies right here. This is just an example of what it's going to take. There's spears coming out of it. There's swords coming out of it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nasty. I don't know what he does. So if the size is of any consequence, he's probably a pretty bad, bad dude. So we're not going to mess with him right now. I will kill one eventually. If somebody in the comment section wants to tell me what they are, that'd be amazing. Uh, forewarned is forearmed, so I'll go ahead and take the information. All right, so, oh my gosh, I see it. Do you guys, okay, sorry guys, I, uh, I'm going to explain in a minute, but this right here, this eagle looking, uh, totem looking thing, we need to, we needed to find one of these. I didn't realize this was right here. This guy right here. We'll wait till the morning to, 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 to take a look at it, but we're going to need that, and I'll explain that. For, that's going to be... We're going to need that, so I'm going to explain that in just a minute. All right, guys, this is the Cabal of Wind Tower. It's the Hermit's uh, Hut. He and his wife live at the top. So it's a Hermit's House. So don't be confused because... Just because it says Hermit House, it is the Cabal of Wind Tower. All right, here we are. So he's sitting by the fire. She's over here preparing uh, whatever she's preparing. Looks like uh, dinner. She's, she's cooking fish. Her name is Agatha. Hello, Miss Agatha. How are you today? Uh, nice belly shirt you have going on there. What's up? Anyway, she's the uh, vendor. How are you? I'm fine. And she has 1,200 uh, silver on her. And I've already sold her some stuff. I've already been here before, obviously. So I've already sold her, sold some stuff, and she hasn't reset yet. So a lot of the stuff I sold to her, she's, and I already know a lot of this stuff here. Uh, I think all of these recipes, I think there was one I didn't know, and I bought it. I think it was Hex Cleaner, but uh, yeah, I know all of them that she sells now. So, all right, and this is the old man. This is the Wind Wizard. This is Adelbert, the Hermit. He's not a hermit. He's got a wife. So you know, I don't understand. Here we go. Excellent. A visitor, the Cabal, shares its wisdom with those who respect the five winds. Reason, passion, fury, kindness, and the inside wind. Listen to me. To use spells I teach, find the wind totems in every region. Then you may use the spells in that region. These totems are topped by a bird statue. You'll recognize them. So that's what we found, guys. And I, so I'm going to train with him. Now, I've already trained with him a little bit, okay? Uh, he has several things. He has, he has shamanic resistance. Effects, the effects of boons on you are increased. For example, a boon that is in, that increases your fire resistance by 20 would increase, would increase it by 30 instead. And I've already unlocked that. Um, and then we have weather tolerance. Increases your hot and cold weather defense by 8. 
De increases your decay resistance by five. I've also unlocked that. Call to Elements grants you a boon that varies according to your location when casting this spell. As you can see in my hotbar, I have that one as well. I already learned Reveal Soul over at the other wizards in the mountain. So I already had that spell, so I didn't have to purchase that one. And Mana Push, I, I purchased that one. And I'm not sure it's that effective right now, but uh, I did buy that one just to be thorough. I'm going to be a Wind Wizard, I guess. Wind and Ice. All right, so these are left. Oh, and we have Sigil of Wind. Create a magic circle on the ground. Certain skills have additional effects when cast within the circle. So that's going to be the same type of thing, such as the fire circle, where you can cast a fireball from Spark. I don't know that I'm going to get that one, actually. This one is Infuse Wind. It says Activated Wind. Alt, activated Wind. Okay, so increases the impact and attack speed of your melee weapon for three minutes. Your stamina burns increase more quickly, however. Your stamina burn increases more quickly, however. So uh, I think I'm, I'm, I've, been do, I've been doing melee, but I wanted to mix it with magic. I think, you know, a battle mage is the way to go. Absolutely 100%. A battle mage is the way to go. So I'm going to take Infused Wind. It's 600. Um, and then this one right here, Conjure is the one I came for, but you have to buy all the other ones before you can get Conjure. Like, I mean, I mean well, you, you can get you to buy one of these two before you can buy Conjure. And you have to have Shamanic Resistance, and, but you have to have Weather Tolerance for that, but you have to have Call of Elements for that. So, you know, and I wanted Mana Push. So you have to actually buy these three to get even one of these. And then you have to, you have to buy all four of these to get Conjure. The reason I want Conjure is because Reveal Soul when you are close to a dead body, it brings up the soul energy of that dead body. And then you cast Spark at it, and it re recharges your mana. If you didn't know that, that's how it works. And that will destroy the soul in the process, right? Well, if you reveal a soul, and then you use Conjure on it, it, it creates a being that will be your bodyguard for like 180 seconds. So if you can find a body before you get into a fight, you use Reveal Soul, then use Conjure on it, it conjures up a manifestation, and it guards you and fights with you for like three minutes, I think. So anyway, we're going to find out, we're going to figure it out, I'm going to use it in just a second, because I'm really excited about this spell, because that means it gives me extra firepower that I don't have to worry about. So we're going to go ahead and get Infuse Win, because I have 1200 uh, silver on me. Also, you won't be able to learn Sigil of Win. Do you want to proceed? Yes, I do. And now I can get Conjure. There we go. Exceptional skill achievement unlocked. All right, guys, this is what we came for. I'm really excited about this. I'm super pumped. Also, there in here, guys, there is a couple of things. I already put a fire down here because I've been here before, but there's a junk pile right here. I think there's uh, some other thing, a couple other things laying around that I've already picked up and sold back to her. So when this all resets, we're gonna be we're gonna be set. Actually, I don't think I have any reason to be here. Now, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna throw down a tent. You can throw down a fire. You can throw down a tent here. It's a safe spot. So I'm going to throw down my tent right quick, and we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to have, I'm going to go sleep for the night. When it gets morning, we're going to go mess with that sigil. It's a bright sunny morning with a red moon. All right, let's go check this out, guys. Now, before we do that, I want to make sure this is that this is that that totem that they were talking about. It says, "Talk to Cabal of Wind Altar." But let me see something right quick. Let's go to our spells. And so, spell which is nothing on its own. So this doesn't look like I have to activate it to make it work. I don't have to activate the tower. But this one I think I do. Yes, I have to activate the wind altar to be able to use infuse wind. To be able to make my, my weapon move faster. So we're going to go ahead. And I went, I went ahead and I took somebody's advice, guys. And they, I, I went back and through the bandit camp, and I went and I got this this weapon right here. This is the cleaver halberd. And it, now I, it didn't do as much damage as the mace I was carrying, right? But somebody told me that there are parts that you add to it, and it makes it a more dangerous weapon. That it actually becomes a really, really super good uh, sword or a halberd once you get the parts and pieces to add to it. So we're taking this. This is going to be our main weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swing. The, right now it's at 0.9 is the, is the is this attack speed. So it swings about like this. 
So I'm supposed to be three times as fast, right? Let's go ahead and talk to the, the... Okay, what? I didn't see it. Oh, I didn't see what it said. All right, a surge of something th flows through me. So now, let's go ahead and let's... Let's do that. Where is it? Infuse wind. Use. And it lasts for 180 seconds. Oh my God, dude. I'm a beast. I'm a beast. Oh man. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. You throw, you throw a, you throw a rag on this thing and catch it on fire or use ice. Oh yeah, boy. How much mana does that use? How much mana does that use? It uses... I'll hot bar it. Don't worry. It uses 15 mana. I have I have 100 mana, so I'm I'm okay. I'm gonna be all right. That's cheap considering the damage that I'm gonna be able to put out. Yeah, boy. Good stuff. Good stuff. Battle mage. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I need to find a body. There's a, a cemetery over here. Now there are some horrendous horrendous. I forget what they're called. They're nasty bastards. Is what they are. But they 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 have eye stalks and they shoot they shoot corruption at you and they're dangerous and they're mean and there's about three of them over here in here. I don't want to mess with it. This is the entrance to the tombs, guys, right over there. That's the That's the ancient ruins right there. Those are the ancient ruins right there. So we're gonna We're gonna avoid these guys. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find a body. We might. I mean, it's a freaking, it's a freaking cemetery for God's sake, right? Let's see. Oh, there's one right here. Cool. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. And what you would do is if you hit this with spark, it's going to recharge your mana. Uh, it recharges a lot of your mana. But what I want to do here instead is we're going to go ahead and we're going to cast Conjure on this. There it is. This is the guy. This is the guy that protects me. For how long? Summon ghost for 300 seconds. So, yeah, man. That's five minutes. We'll fight with you as an ally. All right, you know what? Let's put some armor on. Let's go take these guys on. All right. Oh, they're all together, though. Let me, um... Let me let me kite one with a with a with a bow. I hit one. Oh, they're all coming in as a pack. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. Do your thing, buddy. I wanna see what he can do. Come on. Children. Let's go. Okay, here he goes. There he goes. How powerful is this guy? Oh, okay, not so much. He's not bad, though. We're in the cemetery, so I wonder if I can... I have enough mana. I bet you I can conjure a couple of these guys. Oh, yeah, they're still coming after me. Um, Didn't work? Why didn't it work? There it is. I gotta be right up on that thing, I guess. Alright. And my mana's still still going up because I have I, I have I've eaten some some mana. Okay, kids, come on. I'm just gonna kite these guys. I'm gonna they're, I'm gonna be the distraction. See if this guy can take them out. They're really nasty though. They're super super. Oh god, nope. He dead. He's dead. He didn't even take one of them out. That's okay, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna call it a day. I'm not gonna kill these guys. These guys are really super rough. 
I'm thinking, you know what? I might be able, I might be able to get them separated. If I can get them separated, they're in a pack. That's the only thing. I need to get them separated to be able to kill them. All right, what is my? Okay, that's not that's not the that's not the boon I wanted. They're super slow, but but when they do hit you, they hit like a tank. Let's go over here. All right, we're going to do that on my sword. We're also going to put... We'll put electricity in this too. All right, let's see what we can do. But if I start to... If it looks like I'm going to die, I'm going to get out of here. God dang it, man. Yeah, see, already I'm dead. He killed me. He killed me, guys. Can you see that? See how fast they kill you? That's okay, though. I just wanted to prove a point, how tough these guys are. Okay, be thankful for the wind of kindness. So the hermit came and got me, and he put me back in, in the thing. Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope that helped you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do that right now. As I always say, I am a usual me. You be a usual you, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.